going westbound on Belmont, they're coming up to Nordica. As I make my turn here, I see the fire hydrants a little above average here. The water mains are probably up closer to the three foot mark. Alright, here you got trees that are all cut and everything and trimmed. I don't know if the city did it or the individual did it. Uh, as I'm coming down the street, you got branches that are hanging down low. You got the curbs that are all broken apart. You got some uh, patchwork done on this street. You got the sewer that's clogged up. You got water in the street. You got the curbs broken here. Branches are hanging over here. You got a police car over here parked uh, parked next to the curb here, number 4629A. I'm not exactly sure what the A means uh, yet. Uh, we'll get into that in a, in a little bit. Uh, crossing over School Street. Uh, we're going down, you got a big tree hang overhanging the street, blocking the view of the light. Uh, let's see, we're going down here. People moving in here, and also the street's got a barricade further up as we cross Henderson Street. Henderson Street looks like there's a lot of activity on it. People moving in and out. Uh, you have uh, exactly what this is going on here. You got one inch stones in front of this house here where they redid the, uh, looks like they redid a private drain here. It's got uh, City Chicago no parking tow zones here. Now the city gives out these no parking tow zones to contractors. So if a contractor is doing the work, they're going to have also have the City of Chicago signs posted, which is a conflict because the city is not doing it, the contractors are doing it. They should have their own signs and no parking. But uh, this must have been a, a leak because it's uh, there's a lot of mud and gook around by the by the sewer. And if all that mud and gunk go into that sewer hole, it's going to clog up again. The, the whole street, uh, whoever did that sewer, that sewer break didn't do a very good job on it. All right, as we're crossing Roscoe Street, going northbound on uh, Nordica. Uh, let's see what we have here. We got uh, an uneven street. The street's coming up instead of down. We got low-hanging... Uh, branches. We got a lot of kids in the neighborhood here, so you got to be careful on the street. You should reduce the mileage going 50 miles an hour instead of the 25 or 20. You should reduce the speed limit here when there's kids around and post some, uh, some signs to warn the residents or the motorists of, uh, of danger here. I'm at the corner of Cornelia and Nordica. And, uh, I'm going down a lot of joggers. I'm going down Nordica here. I see a few potholes here. Not as bad as the rest of the streets. I see some of the trees got uh, tree trimmed, uh, but they forgot the other to get the other dead branches further up high. A lot of dead branches up there. Uh, there's water in the street uh, and the curb. The curb's uh, pretty nasty and needs a sweet sweeper here. I'm coming up and you got a lot of commercial vehicles blocking the sidewalk over here. As we're going uh, northbound here, we're going to be crossing over Addison, continuing going down Nordica. Traffic's clear. We're going to continue to move on here. Uh, what I notice is a state police car. Uh, that, uh, that's another issue about the police department. But, uh, we're going to move on here. Uh, you got a tree growing right next to the pole. Now these tree roots will interfere with the electrical wires down there because they could be stretching and they could be pulling it. When the city sends uh, electrical charges through it to light the street lamps, uh, it also lights up down there and it could be shortening out of If you're touching the pole, you could get zapped. I mean zapped. We're going on this street. Looks like there was a lot of branches that broke off here. I mean just broke off. It's not a clean cut. And I'm talking about the house at uh, 3649. This looks like it's just been broke off. Uh, you got a lot of big trees here in this corner. You got another tree here that needs to be trimmed. 
going uh, north on Nordica at uh, Waveland. A lot of potholes in the intersection, and if we're going to go further down in, there's another pothole that could be getting into a bigger. You got a, a looks like a cave, and it's just starting over here at uh, 3610 uh, North. And you got a lot of uh, some of these houses are nice. Some of them are recently uh, redone the last 10 years or so. You got a lot of patchwork going on. You got another uh, sewer uh, break here at uh, 3744 North. And this fellow's trying to back up here. All right, we're at the Nordic Congress and we'll be seeing you in the next